This is such an awkward stance. I never know if it's officially ready or not. I really gotta get better at that. All right, I'm gonna go with it's live now. It like does this weird thinky thing and then the button becomes red. So I'm assuming that means I'm live now. So how's everybody doing this week? Oh, I heard most of you up north have gotten lots and lots of cold weather and snow. I hope you're staying safe. If you're watching us outside of the north and you have ice and snow, I'm so sorry for you guys. I feel you, I've been getting lots and lots of updates from family about how cold it is. I mean, I say all of that with the caveat of, you know, I want my family to say, stay safe and warm. But then I do things like send them Snapchats of me at the pool over the weekend, like, oh my goodness, the sun is so hot today, which by the way, it was really, really hot for us this weekend. My middle daughter, okay, so we've lived in Florida for going on four years, okay? My middle daughter hates the heat. Um, I know Florida's perfect for her. So she is like, oh, I'm so glad that it's spring again, right? And this is as everybody's like getting prepared for snow and you guys are getting all this snow. And I'm like, um, honey, I'm like, it's still winter. Um, you know, spring's not until like the middle of March. And she was like, but it's so hot out. That doesn't make sense. And I was like, honey, we live in Florida. I'm like, when are you going to learn? It's always hot here. Always. Um, so I hope you guys are staying safe and warm out there. My name is Lindsay. I am with Perfectly Pastry. Who is Perfectly Pastry? We are a local bakery in St. Louis. We do wholesale and we have a whole plethora of information for other bakery business owners on the internet. We have blogs, we have podcasts, we have YouTube videos. We create all kinds of information for you. We share tools, ideas, tips, all of that on our blog for other business owners. Um, especially if you're going to become a bakery business, but we have other information like local resources for business owners in St. Louis, all kinds of things on our website. Um, so I highly suggest you guys go check it out. If you're watching me live, use the, let's use a heart. <laughs> Let me know you're watching me live. If it, if it's replay, use hashtag replay. And this is the first time you've ever watched me use one. Let me know. Hey girl, that's the first time I watched you. Thank you for hopping on. So for those of you who are like, I don't know what you're talking about, warm, Florida, what? So the way that our business works, it is ran by my mom, my sister, and I, and I live in Florida. I run the back end of everything from Florida, and my sister and my mom run the storefront and all the stuff that goes on in St. Louis itself, whereas I sit back in Florida, and then I just get on my computer and do it from there. Yeah, so I guess I got the better end of that deal, huh? All right, so... We have a few different things that we are going to talk about today. I'm just like running over my board here, like what's it gonna be? I am on my computer again. I think from now on I'm gonna stay on the computer. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is when it actually starts recording, because I don't wanna start talking and be like five minutes into talking and then all of a sudden it like actually comes on, um, which I think happened the first time I went to go do it. I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I, like, I know that I told you guys before, like I repurpose my content and so I take my Facebook Lives and I create, um, YouTube videos out of them, but I don't always listen to every part of it, so I'm not quite sure. I probably should have listened. Whatever. Neither here nor there. All right, so today I want to talk about some of the new things that we are offering in this store. If you're curious, yes, we are open today. It was a big debate. We were like, oh, are we going to be open? Are we not going to be open? But we have decided to go ahead and go into the store and open up. It's, as a matter of fact, I had somebody on Instagram being like, are you going to be open today? Because if not, I'm seriously going to the streets and protesting because I need me some of your tasty treats today. We we're like, you're so funny. Uh, so it's so nice to like wake up to um, a message from somebody being like, I really want you to be open. Please be open. Um, so we are, we are open. We are actually, um, we are in the, we were in the middle of opening the shop when he sent us a message. I was like, yeah, we're there. We're there. Just give us a moment. Um, yeah. So that was really cool to get this morning. Um, I want to let you guys know, we offer vegan. So if you know somebody in St. Louis or somebody in the area who's looking for some vegan options, we do have two amazing vegan muffins. We have a carrot cake muffin and then we just created a apple raisin oat vegan muffin. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Vegan. No, thanks. Like that just sounds disgusting. How can it be good? Lies. That's all lies. You would be surprised how good vegan muffins really are. So any of you guys who have ever tried it, you know what I'm talking about. The first time I ever had our vegan carrot cake muffin, I was like, this is so good. I cannot believe it is vegan. My mom's like, I know, I told you to try it. Like, by far one of my favorite muffins. Like, 
Who would have thought? Okay, so if you're like, oh, I can't do it because it's vegan, get that out of your brain because I promise you right now, you'll be blown away. We, in St. Louis, like our vegan carrot cake muffin has gone over really, really well. We have people, like we have people who come all the time just for vegan carrot cake muffins. As a matter of fact, yesterday we happened to be off at the shop just dropping off some of our supplies so that we could be ready for today. And one of our customers who always comes in to get vegan carrot cake muffins was like, are you open? Are you open today? She was like looking in the window. My mom's like, I'm I'm not. I'm not prepared for any of that stuff. I'm just dropping off supplies. It just happened to be they were there at the same time. She was like, come back tomorrow. I'll be here and I'll get you some carrot cake muffins made up so that you can have some. <laughs> So yes, they are amazing. And that means that our apple, I always like, I always chop this one up. It's apple raisin oat muffin. So the apple raisin oat muffin is amazing too. Uh, my sister prefers it over the carrot cake muffin actually, whereas I'm a carrot cake fan. So I like the carrot cake muffin. Um, some of the other items that we have on our menu that are new, we now have a keto strawberry cupcake. Hold the phone. Yes, you heard that correct. Keto strawberry cupcake. Mm -hmm. We no longer have to eat crap just because we're on a diet, I promise you. So we've got the cheesecake, we've got cupcakes, and now we have a strawberry cupcake. And wait, there's more. I know. <laughs> it's like an infomercial. Wait. And then you can get chocolate icing. That is right. We're no longer just offering the vanilla icing. We now have chocolate icing that is keto friendly that you can have on your cupcakes. You want to know the best way to get your cupcakes and make sure you get the desserts that are keto or them ahead of time. Um, we carry a limited amount in the store. We're not making it all the time, all the items all the time for the store. We just present what we have made for that week. And when it's out, it's out. And when we bake again, we bake again for the keto products. If you are looking for something specific and you want it, you either show up first thing in the morning and hope that we got it or just go ahead and order it ahead of time. That way we can have it pulled and ready. You walk in, you grab it, and then you go. If you're interested, like, well, how do I go ahead and order it? I have done this really cool thing. Yes, go Lindsay. Um, so I have figured out how to put Facebook Messenger on our website. So you can go to our website and chat with us there. You can, obviously, if you're on Facebook, you could just send us a message right here on Facebook. We'll answer it. Um, you can also email us or you can give us a phone call, whatever you need to do to get that order in. If you're not on Facebook, which is weird because if you're watching my video, you're probably on Facebook, but you know, maybe you're watching this on YouTube. I don't know. We are on all social media. Facebook is the only one that we're at Perfectly Pastry Bakery. All the other ones are Perfectly Pastry. Yes. So it is what it is. Um, but you can definitely chat us up on our website. Like we get lots and lots. Since I put it on there, I've gotten lots and lots and lots of more people reaching out to us, asking questions and all kinds of things. So it's like the best decision I have made. I love the idea. I'm glad. Facebook suggested it. Thank you, Facebook. All right, so those are things I wanted to let you know, some of the new things on our menu. Um, I wanted to talk today, we're gonna uh, run it back into business. I know, guys, that's my forte. I can't help it. I'm not the baker, my mom is. So my forte is the business behind the scenes aspect of it. So last week we talked about chocolate covered strawberries, so I did give you information, like whoop whoop going. Um, and so this week we're gonna talk about business. I wanna remind everybody that we do have a business book club. Um, if you're interested in that, the information for the book club is in the description. Our next meeting is next Thursday, the 25th. I had to write that down because I like shot out a date to my mom and she's like, are you sure that's the date? And I'm like, I don't know. It's the fourth Thursday. I'm like, I'm just randomly pulling what I thought was the right date. So it is February 25th. We will have our next um, book club meeting. So if you're interested and you want to get in there, definitely, definitely hop in. You can go ahead and start reading the book. You don't have to finish the book to engage in the conversation. We'd love to have you there. Um, so just click on the description and click on the link and then you can join that group. All right. So last month we talked about the a book called Clockwork by McCallowitz. Okay. And he's the same guy who wrote Profit First, which I did a whole live on, which we absolutely adore in our business. Um, and so Clockwork is about running your business efficiently and pretty much running your business without you. You want it to run like clockwork, right? Yes. Um, and so we had our meeting about it. We all talked about the what's called the QBR, and we helped other businesses kind of figure out what they want to do as the QBR. We figured out what we want to do as the QBR. By the way, ours isn't like perfectly said, but we've got it and we know what it is, so that's perfect. It's like really wordy. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it on here because we really need to refine that and make it a little more concise, but it's like, we know what we're doing. All right, um, and so that's what we talked about last month. 
And uh, or that's what we read last month. And so I just thought I would give you guys some takeaways from the book. Some of the things that we have been able to grab a hold of right now and utilize in our business right now. So um, the great thing about clockwork is it can be implemented in your business at any point in time, just like Profit First. Um, and it's kind of funny how things align. I don't know if you believe in things aligning themselves, but we we believe in that. And so it was kind of funny because we read clockwork and we talked about like moving ourselves out of the business in the future, blah, blah, blah. You, pretty much like the goal is you you pick a vacation in the future and then you work your business to be able to go on that vacation, right? And we all decided, yeah, we're not going on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, things have changed rapidly since we've done that. And now my mom has decided I am taking that vacation I have always wanted to take and I'm gonna do it in September. And I was like, girl, you do it, right? We will clock work the crap out of our business and you will take that vacation. So now we have a goal to start implementing clockwork into our business. And it just kind of came out of nowhere because we were like, no, we're not gonna do that, blah, blah, blah. We'll work it in later. Like, we'll just do some of the stuff now. And it's funny how it's kind of like forces. We're like, okay, we can do it. And now we have the tools like to make, make that goal. So that is what we're working towards. All right, so. The first thing, the biggest takeaway is learning to learning, defining and understanding your QBR, which is your queen bee role and learning to serve your QBR. So a QBR is not what is the main goal of your business? So our QBR is not to bake products. Yes, we have to have products to be a bakery, obviously, but that's not what sets us apart. That is not our QBR. We're not serving the baked products like our entire job and every being that we have isn't necessarily to serve that product like that's not what what we want for our business what we want for our business is customer service and building community that's what we want we want to connect with you we want to be part of your lives we want you to be part of our lives we want you to be part of our story we want to be part of your story okay so that's what we serve with our qbr is always keeping in mind that we are serving our customer and building community with them like every action that we take and that includes serving delicious treats that includes taking what you guys are wanting and implementing it into our business and all of those sorts of things. So that's what our QBR is. Okay, so that is your queen bee role or whatever you're, un, uh, um, blah, 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 whatever you're learning to serve. If you're always serving that goal, then your business is going to run efficiently. If everybody knows that goal and knows how to serve it, then your your business can run efficiently. Um, one of the other great takeaways is create training videos. Um, so when you're making manuals and paper and things like that, systems update, all of these things change. And if you've ever tried to make a paper document for people to follow, you type it all out, you take all the pictures, then the system updates and nothing looks the same. You got to redo all the pictures, redo all the words. It's like, ugh. Um, and so they talk about creating videos. Um, you create the video, give it to the person, and then they take ownership of that task. And if something changes in that task, it's now their responsibility to create a new video so that the next person understands what to do and how to serve whatever that task may be. Um, and we've really started implementing these videos into our business like wholeheartedly, all kinds of things from the way that we're handling social media. And I've got my sister helping. And so I've created a ton of videos for her to the way that my mom mixes certain things and creates certain things are on video to the way that we're doing bookkeeping so that any of us could pick it up and do the things that we need to do. So um, the training videos have been amazing. We use Zoom, we use Zoho meetings, and we use Loom a lot to create all those videos. Um, one of the things that was kind of a weird concept for us, but we're actually getting more and more behind the idea as we've gone through this process more and more and as we're thinking more about clock working and running efficiently and adding team members and those sorts of things is um, you, you realign your, ta your team to tasks, so not duties. So it's not you are our HR person and this is all you do. You may give them a role that, um, HR is a bad idea because like, Really, I don't even know um, much about it, so I don't know why I chose that one. Okay, like we'll choose something different. Um, so I'll just give you an example like what we're doing in our business. So there are three of us. And before it was like I was making decisions and my mom was talking to me and I was making the decisions and my sister was being left out and I was getting overwhelmed because I've all of this and all of this that's going on and I needed to shift some of those tasks and send the decision making to somebody else. And so we literally, we have three major aspects to our business and then we put 
each of us in charge of that aspect of our business. Um, and then we delegate the tasks that we don't want to do for that stream of our business to the other team members that want to do those things. Um, obviously, there are going to be some things that we have to do, but right now that's how we're handling it. So it's, it's realigning the team to things that they're better at, like I am a terrible seller. I don't want to make phone calls and sell to people. Um, and in our wholesale business, we are going to start going out and meeting people and talking to people and seeing if we can meet, help meet their needs. I physically cannot do any of that in person because I'm in Florida and I don't want to do it on the phone because I hate being on the phone. Again, I've told you guys I'm an introvert and that is like straight up the truth. I do not want to make those phone calls. And my sister is like, oh, no way. Um, and my mom's like, well, I don't care to go in and talk to people. I don't care to make those phone calls. I got I got all kinds of ideas. I'm probably the best person to do that because if they ask for something off the top of my head, I can start telling them like we could do this and this and this. Whereas like, I don't know. I don't bake. Like, I don't know if we could do it that way. Like it may be simple little tweak and my mom's gonna be like oh yeah I can easily do that whereas I'd be like I have to go ask you know and that doesn't build a lot of confidence when you're trying to partner with another business and be like here we can help you and here's why when I'm like oh I don't know if I can do that so like that's something we've decided to shift okay and so it's just little things like that. We're aligning the goals with other people. My sister um she doesn't want to do lives she doesn't want to do lives she doesn't want to be on lives but she's fine scheduling and you know um social media and stuff for for me but she doesn't want to do lives and she doesn't want to have to show her face and i'm like fine i'll do the lives i'll show my face i'll do that i don't have any problems with that so the two of us in tandem are working on social media but she's doing a different aspect of it that is at points in time overwhelming for me because i'm trying to do so many other things and i'm doing the things she doesn't really want to do so it works out really well for us so we're getting behind this aligning your team with task and not like roles and these are the duties under those roles you know the standard way of doing business um which really goes against everything in my being because i am a system driven person i like systems i like point a b c i just i like it linear i don't like it being a web um so i'm getting behind it it's taking me a little bit i got to force it into some type of system for it to be like okay with me but we're working on it um so the other great thing about clockwork that we're really gonna have to start to work on doing and there's three people in our business, so it takes a bit to shift us from the what they call the doing to the designing aspect of it. You know, we all can't step out at once. Um, so we're working on aligning ourselves more and more with designing the business and not being in the day-to-day -day doing. Obviously, since the retail space is newer and all of those things, there's still a lot of doing on our part. I mean, <laughs> for me, I'm... I'm behind the scenes. I mean, I'm not baking, but um, there's a lot of doing that has to go on with the three of us. Um, and so as we move, as we shift, as we grow, as we design, we're going to start shifting more from the doing to the designing. So that's an aspect that you learn in clockwork. Um, and one of the biggest takeaways that I think that we've had um, is learning to release and let go. Sometimes we hold on to task really, really tightly because we think we're the only person that can do it and we are the only one who can do it well. Um, and it's really hard to let go and trust somebody else to do it. I've had to do it with the social media with my sister and there are times that I'm like, hey, here's my critiques on what you've done. And I, I don't deliver critiques very well and I'm working really, really, really hard on it. As a matter of fact, I can be really harsh. I had a buddy that um, back when he was in college, he would ask me to like proof his papers and help him improve his college writing. I am so sorry for doing this to him. He's, he's one of my best buds, so I'm so sorry. Okay, so I like read his paper and, and like, it wasn't a very good paper, but it was his first try. So he really did try hard. And so instead of like softening the blow, I was just like, your paper makes me want to vomit. <laughs> okay, so I obviously have to learn to give critiques better. So that's one of the things I'm trying to like work on with my sister because my sister's taken social media over um, a lot of it. And I can't be like, hey, that's crap. What you said was crap. Your picture is crap. You need to fix it, right? Because that's not nice. Like this is nobody's going to get better if they feel like they can never do it right. Um, so it's been a lot for me to like work on that and to release and let go. So she's not doing it exactly the same way that I'm doing it. That doesn't make it wrong. She's not doing it wrong. I'm not, what I'm saying isn't necessarily better. What I'm doing isn't necessarily better. It's just not the same and that's okay. So learning to let go. Uh, my mom was doing a lot of the bookkeeping and entering and it was it's a lot when you're baking and running the store. And so some of the things that we were doing, we needed to shift and people needed to take different responsibilities. I'm the worst about accounting 
accounting, I will tell you, my mom is like, you cannot touch the accounting. You are not allowed to. And that's because like, if it's a circle and I have a square, I'm just going to jam it together. Like it'll, it'll work itself out. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'm like, I always get like, I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. You know, circle square, just jam it. Um, my mom's like, stop doing that. You can't do that in accounting. That's not how it works. And my sister's like, why would you do it that way? And I'm like, guys, guys, chill, relax. It's a circle and square. They're both shapes, right? No, you can't do that. Um, so there are certain things that my mom's like, girl, you're not allowed to touch. But we've had to shift some of the accounting and stuff like that around. And because I am a circle square kind of girl, my mom is like, all right, Lindsay, I'm going to trust you to do this. Um, and so she makes me my video. Now, I have followed my video to a T and I do exactly what I'm supposed to. And I promised her that if this, if it's a circle and I find a square, I'm not going to just force them together. I'm going to stop and ask. That I promised to do. Um, but she had to learn to realize that she's not the only one that can do it. She's not the only one that has to do it. And we have to release and let go. <laughs> so that's the other thing that we've learned. And we're really good about being like, oh, or is it really only you can do it? Or are you just having a hard time letting go you're like we've we've had to challenge each other like are you sure you're the only one that can do that so there is a lot of I don't really want to do that somebody has to do it I don't want to do that but then there's also a lot like I can only do that nobody else can do that um so you know it's a growing process but you got to learn to release and let go so that you can build your team and trust those other members to take responsibility that's what the video is about is teaching them how to do it they take responsibility and then they start owning that task so then it becomes theirs until the next person comes along um so that's what clockwork was all about i highly suggest you guys read it if you're looking for something to help with your business if you're not really worried about business i still loved the book i know i'm a nerd whatever um right now we are reading a book by amanda francis it is in the description uh we are loving it it's the book we're going to be talking about on friday so if you really want to engage in that conversation hop into our facebook Facebook group, get the book and join us next Thursday. I don't remember if I said Friday, but the word is Thursday. Thursday is the day. Um, all right, you guys, I have been jabbering on for quite some time. I just wanted to say hello. Thank you guys for hopping on here. I hope you guys stay safe and warm out there. Yes. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful rest of the week. If you're watching me live, make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook. Um, if you're not on Facebook or if you're only ever once in a while on Facebook and you want to hop on other social media, we are there too. We are at Perfectly Pastry. Facebook is the only one that we are at Perfectly Pastry Bakery. All right, you guys, I will be here again next week as usual. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.